welcome to my channel. So if you are into handbags, then you will love this channel. So hit the subscribe button. And if you want me to bug you almost every single day, then hit the little bell so you're notified. All right, so tonight's video is an unboxing. Surprise, surprise. And this is going to be one of many. Because, yes, um, if you guys have been watching me a while, you know that if I like something, I kind of just dive right in, go a little bit crazy, and get a lot of shit. <laughs> so, okay. I didn't really plan anything about how what I was going to talk about or anything like that, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I am really extremely impressed right now with the customer service I have received from Coach and a particular coach actually. It's gonna be the coach in Washington at the Centralia location. I believe that's how you say it or where it's located. But anyway, I am very impressed um, with the customer service that I have received from that particular store. And from uh, the main person that helped me with this would be Mandy, the uh, store manager. So she's been fabulous and wonderful. So thank you, Mandy. I really appreciate the time that you uh, spent with me to get my bags ordered that I had been looking for. I really do appreciate the service. So let's get started. This bag is one of many bags that will be coming to my channel. And this is just a little taste for you guys of what's to come. I have a massive haul coming. I'll kind of give you guys a little bit of teasers coming up here and there. So check out my Instagram. I'll be posting pictures of stuff like that to give you a little bit of a um, taste of what might be coming your way. Okay, so this bag was packaged very nicely, so I appreciate that. And I don't have the, I took it out of the bag, so it's still wrapped. I have not unwrapped it. I have not looked at this. This is then sitting in the studio down here all day long, waiting for me to dig into it. So I do want to say I do appreciate it being packaged really well. You guys know if you've been watching me a while that I like packaging. I like everything to be tightly packaged and secure, which this bag was. It was Obviously, it's wrapped in the Coach tissue paper with a sticker. Love that. It's a cute touch. And I also like the fact that it was rested on a pillow of other stuffing and paper. So I really like that. It protects the bag, especially because these bags are really expensive. Now, pretty much all the bags that are going to be coming to my channel here are from the Coach 1941 collection because, of course, if you know me, you know I want the best. And this is the best. So let's dive into it. I'm super pumped to get this, and we'll talk about it a little bit more once I open it up. And it's so funny, I had somebody talk to me earlier how I can just not dive right into my bags when I get them, and it's because I take them nicely down here in my studio, and I walk away and shut the door. And try not to think about it until I'm ready to do the video, because I really like to do a, you know, this is like my real, this is gonna be my real reaction. You know, I don't play my videos, I don't do cuts, breaks, none of that crap, so here we go. And as you might notice, it's like it's packaged really really nicely. I'm working with one arm still you guys for five more weeks so bear with me and that's why my videos aren't being uploaded every single day because it's kind of a lot to do this for me it takes a little bit of time but there's a card in there so let's take the card out and let's read what is on this card. She did a really great job so thank you Mandy. So it came in this um, envelope here and there's a little sticker on it so super cute I love these little touches you know it's something small but you know what it doesn't mean something to us because it just means that you actually care so I do appreciate that and let's I'm gonna try not to rip it because of course I'm weird like that and I like things to be kept you know orderly right I like these stickers like this little this is actually pretty nice okay so let me get this out and there's a card inside of there it's a coach card and let's open it up and my receipt is in here so we're just going to set that down there and it says i'll read it to you guys here it just says joshi it was a pleasure working with you i'm so happy to have met you and look forward to our conversations in the future mandy so that was from mandy the store manager who helped me with all of this loved that she was super sweet. She really was, so I really do appreciate it. Okay, here we go. Let's get into it. I'm just, I'm, it's taped up really well, so I'm just going to, I think, rip it open, okay? I'm not going to, like, be too careful because it's just, it's tissue paper. It's fine. Okay. Let's get that off. Oh, my gosh, you guys. 
excited. I'm so excited. This is a first to my collection. Can you guys see it a little bit? Oh my gosh. It smells really good. Okay. Let me hold it up. Let me put this to the side. Okay. Sorry. I only, like I said, I only got one arm to work with. So this is what we have. And this is, I gotta balance it here. Okay, this is the Coach Rogue. And I believe it's the regular Rogue in black, black with the brass hardware. So, here we go. This has got some weight to it, which I knew it would because it's full grain leather. This is really nice, okay. And, okay. I am like so late to this game with the 1941 stuff and I just kind of went crazy. And I really am finding out right now what I've been missing out on because this is really cool. Does this key have a lock and stuff too? This is neat. And it does have feet on the bottom there. I like the graining, I like you can see that. And I think it says, what does it say? It says genuine glove tanned pebbled leather. And I really like the rogues. When I started kind of getting into this collection, I find that the rogues are a really... It's a very, very gender neutral bag. Now, you guys know I don't, you know, my bags don't have genitals or anything like that, but you know what I'm saying when it's a very gender neutral bag. Like this type of style, I mean, I feel like business men can even rock this bag. You know, it's just a very good, I think it's a classic design, wouldn't you say? Because it's more of like a, like a square. It's just a square bag with classic design elements to it. I think it's really, really nice. I'm seeing something here. Hold on. I need to look this over because I, this is the first time I've seen this. Okay, what is this? Oh, it's nothing. I do want to talk about, I'm just looking it over. You know what I really like? This, okay, this is awesome. I'm a huge fan of this uh, design feature. And that would be the, it does have glazing on it, but here, can you see where I'm pointing? Here, that's not glazing. So I really like that the corners and stuff down there, there's no glazing on it. So we don't have to deal with crackation there, which is awesome. And the sound of this hardware sounds Oh, it even says Coach on the little... Oh, that's cool. It actually says Coach 1941 on the... On these zipper poles right there. And then on the little lock. Which has some weight to it. I have not been... Is, is this like buttoned or is this like... No, it's... It's riveted down. I have not been into a Coach store in ages. I don't even know. I can't even tell you the last time I was in a Coach store maybe a year ago, and I think that was an indie. Oh wait, let me tell okay. A, a boutique coach store, that's what I'm talking about. Outlets are excluded, I'm not talking about outlets. Like a regular boutique store, it's been over a year for me, which is where you would find this stuff. Now, you can pick this stuff up at outlets, of course, too, like the old season stuff, and that's how I got this, actually. So I got that from them that way, because they don't, you know, carry this stuff. Let's open this up. I like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna take, I think, some of this stuffing out. This is cute. You guys, I'm so, okay. This is making me more excited for all the stuff that's to come because I went completely ballistic and totally psycho and crazy, but you guys, if you know me, you know that's what I do. I mean, look behind me right here, so, yeah. This, okay, this is huge to me. Can you see this? One-handed zipper pull. This is nice. I'm a huge fan of this zipper quality. So A plus there. Another design element that I love, if you can see the inside of that, the zipper pocket lining there is that, um, what do you call it? It's kind of like a gingham lining. Am I saying that correctly? That's what it reminds me of. And I feel like that's a lot higher quality. I think it looks higher quality. And then the texture of it, it feels higher quality than just a regular lining. Like the Dooney and Burke Florentine bags with that red lining. I think a lot of that with those red linings cheapen it a little bit. Whereas for example, my Barlow has this kind of lining to it, which I think elevates the bag a lot more. So I think 
Dooney, Burke should be doing that in all of their Florentine bags, which I know now they have a lot of, or the leather. I do like the cream leather as well. I feel like this would wear a little bit better than that light colored cream leather, but either one of those elevates the, the bag higher, especially on the level of Florentine. I'm putting this in the class of Dooney and Burke's higher end Florentine bags because it's a very nice, durable, thick, quality leather. Okay, let me take this stuff out of here. And like I said, I'm not a coach professional. I'm really not, but I'm gonna be there. <laughs> oh yes. Okay, so we have the strap. So this is, oh, there's two straps, I forgot. Okay, so there's two shoulder straps right here. And I believe you can connect both of these straps into one strap and then do it diagonally so you have a little bit longer of a strap if you want. That's another, let's see, there's like, here, check, check, check for pros of this collection. A lot of the bags also have the straps that are removable and or interchangeable. Love that. Okay, let me check out this dust bag. Let me take this out. Okay, she's got stuffing in it. Okay, hold on. Good job, Mandy. I didn't even ask her to do any of this. I wanted to, I was testing you. <laughs> you passed. I was testing to see how she would package this bag without me asking her. Because it's really important to me that my bags come properly stuffed and wrapped. And she did this too, which I love. She put the stuffing in the dust bag and then put it inside of the dust bag. So I love that. Oh, another thing, Mandy, really quick, if you're watching this, because I'm sure you're going to, I love it when my essays put the stuffing inside of a dust bag, stuff the bag, and then put the bag in another dust bag. So if you have spare dust bags, um, don't mind if you do, just slip it in there for me, and then you can wrap it too, like that. I'm just really anal about that, but um, you pass. You know, you get an A+. Plus. This is just if you want some extra credit next time, <laughs> okay? All right, this dust bag is really nice. I like uh, draw string dust bags like this. I much prefer this style, like my Longchamp bags are. They're all the draw string, even down to the little itty bitty bags. Love the draw string style of dust bags. This dust bag looks a little little though. Doesn't this look little compared to the bag? Okay, we're gonna have to check that out because I feel like this is not gonna fit that bag. <laughs> Mandy, I might be texting you, we'll see. Because I need it to fit in here because I actually do store my bags in their dust bags. I always have my bags stuffed and then I put them in their um, dust bags, like just like this. Unless they're on my display back here for my videos for a couple months. But all this is gonna be switched up. Okay. Good job, Mandy, doing this. I also like this as well, where the wrapping is actually wrapped like this, so it's not just like floating around everywhere like craziness. This is much more professional. I appreciate that. And this dust bag is nice, though. Other than being a tad bit wrinkly, I like it. It's kind of like an off-white with the black coach. It's a linen style dust bag. It kind of feels like some of my Microcores collection dust bags, uh, the non-silk ones, these, which I actually prefer. I prefer this kind of linen dust bag over the silk because the silk ones can snag. All right, moving on. I'm so excited. I just want to like go out shopping just so I can carry this now. This is actually a really good size. It's not too big, it's not too small, so uh, they call it the regular size, and it's definitely uh, regular sized. And it has these cute little things here, so let me get this to situate it, because I'm gonna be like anal about this. Okay, I need to like fix that, because that's gonna drive me crazy, I think. Hold on, I gotta like do this right now, it's gonna bug me. Oh, is this where the keys are at? I'm guessing this is where the keys are at for the lock. I love that. Even these pieces feel very nice. So here's the shoulder, or not the shoulder, the um, hand carry straps right there, which are, they're kind of like a rolled handle actually. It's like a rolled stitched, stitched handle, and I like the contrasting stitch color as well. And there's the hang tag with, I believe, the keys are in this little thing, which is cute. I mean, this is even high quality. It's got a little turn lock. Love this. Yeah, that's where the keys are at. So this is pretty cool. Is there like a couple keys in there? Is that how this works? 
I don't even know how this works. How do you get them out? How do you get them out of here? I'm confused. Okay. Do we just like pull them out? Do they just come out? Okay, I don't know if I can get this out. Oh, here we go. Oh, I think it's like strapped around something on the inside. Is that how that works? Yeah, I think it's like, it's like attached in there. Okay, I get it. So you have to like, well, I guess this like reaches though and you can undo it. Okay, I get it. All right, I'm following. I got it. That's cute though. It even says coach on the little, the little lock right there. I don't know if it's going to zoom. Can you see that? I don't know. Probably not. Okay, I don't really like that you can see the handle indentations on the inside. But I'm going to stuff it with the handles out anyway. That's how I would store it. So I'd, I avoid the, uh, the indentations on the inside here. I'll show you that because you can actually see that there on the inside on the suede there. You can see the indentations, but that'll come out. I'm not really worried about that. This leather seems very nice, thick, and durable that I think it will just come right out, no problem. And it looks like I will read you the tag on here. The style number for this is gonna be 38124 in black, black. And the retail on this uh, bag is $7.95. So the regular rogues are $7.95 at full retail cost. However, I do believe, just for you guys' little uh, reference here, coming up, I believe it starts next week, either Sunday or Monday, I do believe, Coach is offering 40% off the retail bag, so you can call up your local Coach store and or outlet boutique, and they will be happy to take care of you with that additional uh, percentage off, or not additional, sorry, the 40% off their bags. So any of the new rogues or dinkies or EDs or pages or whatever, which I might get one of those, you can check that out. I like this little hang tag here. It's leather. It's got the Coach 1941 on it. So really, really nice high-end quality. Yeah, this is a good size bag. But I got it in every size, so you guys will see that coming up. And yeah, all right, well, oh, there's a, oh gosh, there's a key worm in here. Here it is. But let me tell you something about this key, this key keeper right here. Number one, it's leather. Number two, the hardware. Look at the hardware on this. What color is that? That would be brass, which matches the rest of the hardware on this bag. I'm just saying, if you're going to do the key keeper, do it right. Which I think it is appropriate to have a key keeper in this bag because of the size of it. It does uh, warrant having this key keeper, which is actually kind of neat. It looks like, oh, they make it look like it twists like a locking, but it doesn't. And I do like the fact that it says coach on it. So that's awesome. Very cool. And inside there is a kiss lock closure right there on the one side, which I believe is in the, is it in all the rogues I think they have that kiss lock closure? And then the other side it looks like we have a zipper pocket and then of course the, the plaque there that has, it says coach on there. And let's see what else does it say. Let me read out here. I like that the zipper on the inside of this pocket is metal. Plastic zippers cheapen things up. I don't like them. I don't care how nice the plastic zippers are. I feel like it cheapens them up. You know, if you're going to be paying $795 plus tax on these bags, then of course you're going to want a metal zipper inside. I mean, come on, that's just crazy. I did not pay that for this bag, just by the way. Okay, the kiss lock closure. That's... Um, that's a good size, actually. It looks pretty nice. All the hardware is all very... Do you hear that? Hold on. Hear it close. Watch. Listen. Do you hear that? That's like a nice... It's a nice sound. I'm into, the, I'm into that. 
Okay, let's unzip the inside zipper, which I just did one-handed, which is great. Okay, good, and there's the care card in here, which I was well, I wanted to make sure that was in here. Let me open it up here. I will read that in a moment. And there's nothing else inside the pocket. And I believe this lining can be, can it be removed? No, but it's not, it's sewn in there, it looks like, but it's not like super tight, but it's tighter than some of the Junium Burke lining. So I do appreciate that. It just looks, this just looks a little bit higher quality to me, I feel like. Yeah, I'm definitely digging this. Mm -hmm. This is good. This is great. This is an everyday bag size. So if you're looking at these robes, or maybe you're new to coach, or you already have a full-blown collection, I think the regular-sized rogues are going to be a great every day bag so you could use this for work running errands what have you uh, the lines and stuff like that on the leather there from the straps being in there looks worse on camera than i think it is in person because of these bright lights and plus like i said i'm going to be taking it out of like i'm not going to be storing the handles inside like that they'll be just like this so i'm going to actually stuff this bag with uh bubbleation and I will just let it sit out probably overnight to let it breathe and stuff like that. Okay, and we have, love that sound. And it does uh, stand up on its own. I have it sitting here on this table in front of me and it's not slouching over. However, I do love that it's squishy. So this leather has got a really great hand feel to it and it's super soft and just, wow, like this is nice. Guys, this is this is nice. I'm very happy because I just spent a whole lot of money at Coach. <laughs> so I'm glad I like this one or that would have been bad. The feel of this one kind of has the same... Yeah, this Longchamp Penelope right here has the same kind of hand feel as this one. So it feels like very thick high-end leather, which it is. <laughs> okay, the care instructions... Let's see, there's a lot of Chinese and shit on here. Okay, there's just one American section here. Since 1941, Coach has built its reputation on quality craftsmanship, using luxury materials and innovative finishes to create products as beautiful as they are functional, which I appreciate that. I love that. Beautiful and functional. Can't beat that. To this day, every Coach handbag, wallet, and leather accessory is assembled by hand. That's pretty awesome. To care for and extend the life of this product, cool in a cool, dry place. Remove surface dust. Use Coach Leather Cleaner and Coach Leather Moisturizer. Visit coach.com. All right, simple and to the point. Love that as well. So there we have it, you guys. This is the first of many. I know this video is really long, but I kind of wanted to make it a little bit longer, chat a little bit, kind of tell you guys what I was thinking in my mind and, you know, you know, give you guys my opinion on this. And so far, so good. I'm pretty darn impressed with everything. I'm extremely happy. I am so excited to get the rest of my collection that will be coming. So they're gonna be coming in a bunch of different shipments. I know that because of how I ordered the bags. They're gonna be coming from either different boutiques and or the warehouse, I believe in Jack's. I think that's what, it, what it's called. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just do one ginormous massive haul like I did with my previous Longchamp bags. So that's gonna be about a two hour video. Well, I'm gonna do two separate videos because of how the camera shuts off. It likes to shut off in 45 minutes. But anyway, we'll do two separate videos. So it's gonna be one massive ginormous uh, coach haul <laughs> for you guys and just reveal everything at once. So that's why I wanted to kind of sit down here and kind of talk about it a little bit more because I won't have as much time to kind of dive deep into it, but there's some freaking amazing stuff coming and I am so excited to share it with you guys and I am so thankful I jumped on this coach craze with the 1941 stuff. I am really, really thankful for that. And I will tell you right now, there's a ginormous quality between this 1941 stuff and the, the coach boutique items versus their outlet stuff. And that's just the same as, you know, Michael Kors and um, Kate Spade and stuff like that. And like I said here before, 
Now that I have this in front of me in person, the quality and craftsmanship of this bag, I'm going to actually compare that to my Michael Kors collection bags. So all of my Michael Kors collection bags that are made in Italy, I'm going to be comparing that to the Coach 1941 collection because I feel like the quality and craftsmanship is definitely on the same level and worth even the retail price. I actually think that, you guys, I'm going to say that, I really feel like it's actually worth the $7.95. It really is. So if you're not like crazy like me and have 300 bags and you only want like five bags or something like that, I think this would be a great investment bag for you. And of course, this is just the all black. So very, very classic. I'm so excited. You guys, I'm so pumped. I'm so, so, so excited and very thankful that I was able to get all these bags that are going to be coming. All right, so there we go. What do you guys think? Do you guys have these bags? Are you guys into Coach? Um, leave it in the comment section down below. I know I've talked to quite a few of you already via email and uh, discussed some of this stuff with you guys. So thank you everybody who has uh, talked to me about it and educated a little bit um, uh, me on this Coach collection. And I'm just really shocked that I never recognized it before because I feel like it needs to be recognized. So I absolutely love it. I'm super pumped and I'm just going to shut up now. All right. I'm going to go get a glass of water because I'm thirsty. So until next time, you guys keep it tight. Talk to you later.